My husband is leaving me for someone else. I'm nine weeks pregnant. Originally posted by you, throwaway left me nine in arc true off my chest on September 26. 22. Updated November 21. 22. Original post. My husband is leaving me for someone else. I'm nine weeks pregnant. He told me three days ago that he's been carrying on with her and he's going to divorce me for her. I'm nine weeks pregnant. He told me he'll pay whatever maintenance the court sets and he is sorry he didn't do it before I got pregnant. One of my colleagues has arranged an appointment with a solicitor for me. I have a job as a phlebotomist. A flat and my colleagues and family are lovely. I know it will be okay even if it doesn't feel like it right now though I am still in shock. Update. Our flat was a leasehold so I couldn't just change the locks or bar my husband from the flat. Because it was in both our names. However, he agreed to relinquish and the landlord agreed to keep me on as a tenant with a new agreement solely in my name. I'm employed so there was no issue with me affording the flat on my own. I did have questions about why I wanted to stay in the place I used to live with my husband. The flat is in a safe area and near my job and my family and with being pregnant on top of that the last thing on my mind is finding another flat. Since I'm employed and earn roughly the same as my husband's spousal support would not have been ordered. We have divided up and closed our bank accounts and my husband has collected his things from our flat. Our solicitors helped us in settling things and making it legally binding. My husband agreed in writing that he will pay whatever child maintenance he is ordered to and that he does not want custody or to be part of our child's life and all sole decision making will be left to me. My solicitor says he could change his mind in the future but his written statements and lack of Interest will work against him especially since he also has a solicitor to advise him. I asked about removing his rights as a father but unless he does something such as abuse or I find another partner to step in the legal system will not just remove them. Also removing them would affect my ability to collect maintenance from him. The woman he was carrying on with is also married but they have no children. It's my understanding that as soon as the divorces are final the two of them plan to settle in Spain where my husband's father retired too. That's what his solicitor said anyways. Everything is legally settled so I am just waiting for the divorce to become final because that takes time. Tomorrow I will be 17 weeks pregnant. Both the baby and I are healthy in my family. My friends and my colleagues have been lovely and supportive. I also appreciate the many lovely comments and messages I received here. Reminder. Do not comment on the original posts or contact the original poster. I am not the original poster. This is a repost. Damn that's cold. I do not get, nor will I ever. Why people who are so indifferent to their relationship and or are cheating want to procreate with that person? Why? He is sorry he didn't do it before I got pregnant. What the heck? He knew he would be shortly leaving her and yet he managed to 1. Have sex and 2. Get her pregnant? The folks over at R. Surviving Infidelity call this period, the affair fog, and she should get everything legally settled while he is still in it. Because someday he will wake up and realize that the new partner, relationship isn't perfection. Either and then he will make OP's life difficult. Tune back in next time in 12 years for the dads, I made a huge mistake and miss my wife and child. Posting. I know it's not the point, but this is the most British thing I've ever read. He'll pay child maintenance, but he's also leaving the country. Betty's gonna come back when the kid is at a fun age. Like every cheating deadbeat does. Fuquad was checked out but still slept with Op to the point of getting her pregnant. Sounds like a premeditated choice to trap her. 
I'll pay whatever maintenance the court requires. Oh and I'm fleeing the country so that any attempt to ensure that I do pay the required becomes much harder and complicated. I don't understand why he kept having sex with Oop if he already had one foot out the door. Good riddance, though. And I hope she gets the maximum possible child support. I also wouldn't shed tears if it turned out he and his AP can't have kids years after Oop finds. Someone new to whom the ex signed away his parental rights. The fact he is willing to cheat and give up rights to his child tells you the exact person he is. You will be so much better off without him. This sucks for the baby but it looks like the ex was checked out of this relationship way before. Oop got pregnant. Better in this case to have an uninvolved parent from the start than have the kid constantly disappointed in an uninterested dad. I hope Oop finds someone better who will love her and her child as their own. When this kid is out of diapers and this new relationship fails, he is going to want back in. And I hope that he doesn't get it. People like this go in and out of their kids' lives out of pure selfishness. When they feel low or they are in between relationship or they want to show off to their new partner. I hope he is out for good. He is sorry he didn't do it before I got pregnant, what an asshole oh no the pregnancy fairy. Magically made him come in his wife. He definitely had no control over his actions. My husband agreed in writing that he will pay whatever child maintenance he is ordered to in that. He does not want custody or to be part of our child's life. Such a mentality is the ultimate failure as a human being. I wouldn't have continued the pregnancy. What an utter bastard. I hope this sob one day wakes up and regrets his life decisions and I hope his baby hates him for what he has done. If hell exists, I believe there is a special place for men who leave their pregnant wives for another woman. Two cheaters found each other. Hope karma works. I'll never get why you would go into a relationship with a cheater. Do these people think they won't cheat on them? Make it make sense. The two of them plan to settle in Spain where my husband's father retired to. That's probably not going to be as easy as they expect it to be now that Brexit happened. Oh well. They deserve years of frustrated red tape wrangling. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.